Product marketing is responsible for developing positioning, messaging, competitive differentiation and enabling the sales and marketing teams to ensure they are aligned and work closely to generate close opportunities. Wikipedia defines product marketing as a process of promoting and selling a product to a customer. In financial technology, developers still face challenges with marketing their products. And some of the challenges uh, faced basically by fintechs is waiting too long to take a product to market. So you find a developer working on a, on a product for four years, well, it's not necessary. Um, so as, as soon as they are, they are features are ready, like the very fast ones, they should be able to be ready to go to market. The best tests of our product are when it's in the market already, not when we are trying to uh, make them better from our design space. Uh, the other issue is um, fintechs or basically developers trying to go to market with big brands. Sometimes it's not always possible, but that should not make them not go to market. Uh, sometimes big brands want to see that a product, the feasibility in the market actually works. So by taking a product to market earlier on their own, uh, makes, gives data, there is information later on for even uh, as you pitch for a bigger brand to be able to take it on. It's not just about a bigger brand, it's also when you're looking for financing as a, as a startup or as a fintech. Being able to have had something to show is very important. It means that you are, they need to be able to take the risk and go to market with whatever they have. While mentoring at the Women in Fintech Hackathon, Primera Muthoni, a product specialist, MTN Uganda emphasized that a product use should correspond to its designed purpose. However, in consideration of business analysis, user research, data collection and achieving go-to-market goals. Product development process, we have extremely important elements when we start. After we have gotten the idea, we usually screen the idea. Then we decide which kind of customers are we going to be reaching with that product or service. We've done low, low fidelity wireframes and we are happy. We can actually go out sometimes to do user research, focus groups, okay. These things do not require money. You can go out to your target market. I do a lot of walking in Kampala. Recently, I went to Kampala Road. You know where there is that market where they sell crafts, the crafts market, because I was designing a fintech solution specifically for that kind of category. Before we even say we are going to market, we need to be sure that the product we are building has already uh, been designed for that segment. Then after I finished my low and high fidelity wireframes, that is when the, the developer gets to see the things. He, at that point, eh, the developer will take two, three days and he's done. You know what? It's time to go to market. We shall keep adding features until customers can use it. Sometimes I don't even know what problems are in there. Close my eyes and say, you know what? I am taking the product to market. Still, you can, even as big as they seem to be, even as big as MTN seems to be, we do not take a whole entire product to market at once. There are bits and pieces that go into it. Now, which take me back again to our product. When we are beginning, have we created a product roadmap for our product? If you're creating a financial solution for financial inclusion of women, have we created a roadmap? Do we know? Uh, what the, that product journey is going to be in another two, three, four years. Okay, maybe two, three, four years is very long term. But in the next one year, do we know what features we are going to add in there? How soon should you take a product to market? As soon as feature one is done. Yeah. Yes. As soon as the first feature is complete, and tested, we go to market. Innocent Kawoya, the CEO High People, advises teams to exercise persistence in their innovations and developments. He promised the 15 teams support from High People. That is actually very important and 
relating to a bit of uh, uh, what has been delivered by our mentor today, Primera. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll take you to a story of high people. I remember when I joined high people, I was in senior four. And I found everyone that was developing high people, doing a lot of programming. So much work had been done already. But every single day, every single year, we, we kept on developing and programming for high people to make it a better platform, transforming it from uh, an ideal, a typical social uh, network, getting it into what we call the social entertainment network. But I mean, through developing it, we also learn how to make many other things happen. It was through high people that we did things like uh, My Doctor, uh, Afro Examiner platforms that, uh, that, were, that were platforms that won a number of international grants and awards. So connecting to the mentor today is um, our, our teams that are, that are in the Women in FinTech Hackathon need to consider the fact that uh, no one of them is going to fly in a day. The process of being in a hackathon and the process of developing and thinking of solutions that are supposed to change life is as good as life itself. So they are supposed to think through the processes and walk through them every day. But importantly, they must make sure that they are persistent enough and uh, consistently work on the little bits of making sure their products become better. Because in the end, it only becomes a transformative solution because it was able to live through every stage, grew, and became a life changer. When you see things like uh, more cash, things like M Copper, things like Startime Solar and all that, that are now coming to use FinTech to actually provide energy. It is through a, a process that people have actually generated all these kind of services. And now they think the time is right to actually use a financial technology enabled platform to make sure that they deliver life. Because when you deliver light or water, you deliver the life to people. So our team should keep persistently doing what they do, believe in themselves a little bit more, and make sure they follow that path until the end. We shall be here to support everyone, to get funding, to market free of charge, to advise them on developing their business cases and the code, because we have interoperable solutions and open source solutions like Moja Loop, and we have international resources that are helping us get guided, like the Level 1 Project Principles, and some resources by the World Bank. So in a nutshell, keep doing what you're doing, even Rome was not built in one day. According to Muthoni, there is unlimited space in financial technology. Being a country that we are, there is a lot to do. You can't say that um, there is uh, too much competition, actually. I don't think so. I think there is room for so much at the top. There is so many things to do. When I look at the things on my list to do in a day or a year, uh, if I had help from fintechs building some of those products, it would make our life a lot easier. So there is a lot of room. Uh, so one of the things I would suggest is trying to um, work with each other on infrastructure. So um, I gave an example, I'll give an example of maybe cloudinary services. It is okay for uh, two fintechs to be able to share certain cloud services and be able to use them together. Uh, because sometimes you find that the charge a month is at maybe a hundred, two hundred dollars. Uh, a fintech which is just starting out may not be able to afford it, but they can be able to share services. Um, there is also a lot of free stuff, like uh, free services for beginners. You can start there without first having to pay for service, certain services. For um, example, like uh, Miro, which is a very good uh, design app in terms of design. Uh, free accounts are usable. You have three boards which you can do a million things with them. You can use it for your first year of business and, the first, and that free account is, is, is enough to be able to build a lot of stuff, yes. So these are the, those two things. Then they can always keep looking for funding. There's a lot of funding around. There's funding from the government. There's funding from the private sector. It's about being able to sit down and actually write world-class proposals. But there's actually room for funding for fintechs. Today has been the fourth day of the Women in Fintech Hackathon. The Women in Fintech Hackathon is organized by High People under its Include Everyone program in partnership with Cross Lake Take, Modus Box, Mojaloop Foundation and Level One Project. Rita Cabanero, Smart24.